myself. These guys are all super cool. I've been able to talk with them all as this weekend has progressed, and they've all exceeded my expectations already. So they're really cool guys. So without further ado, the cast of It is going to come up here on stage right now. Come on, fellas, let's go! Don't 
Julia. Like, don't, don't ruin it. It's such a great film. But, you know, because that's how it is whenever you love a film. So I was like, oh, people care about this movie and it's not even out yet? Like, okay, we got to do a good job. <laughs> right. I think we knew it was going to be big. I just didn't know if we knew it was going to be a good bit or a bad bit. Like, it, it could have went way either way. So, so uh, I told you guys before we got on stage, you never know how many people are going to be asking questions, and I want to get to them as soon as we can. We're going to go right to the line here because look at how long the line is already. We want to make sure everybody has gets your question answered. So, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Charlie, and I was wondering how 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 many how how long did you get to like hang out with like the adults that betrayed your characters in Hit Chapter Two? Well, that's actually good. Did you see my notes? Did you see my notes? <laughs> so, so I'm gonna kind of rephrase it. So, in Hit Two, it takes place 27 years later. How much did you get to hang out with those characters, or did they have to come to you to be like, I need to understand the psyche of this character more from your perspective? Me? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it was actually a pretty brief, like, meeting with them. Um, we, we got to sit down and we got to have lunch with them. Um, but it was kind of meeting everybody, not just meeting the older versions of ourselves, but meeting, like, the older version of every character. Um, because I think it was important that they had the chemistry that we had, because we were just best friends hanging out, happened to be filming a movie. So yeah, it, it wasn't a super long time, but I think the main thing that I wanted to tell them was like, Andy casted you, the director, and I know that he's an incredible director, so I trust your guys' instincts, and I think you guys are gonna do great, because it really did feel like I was just talking to myself whenever I was talking to Jay Ryan, you know what I mean? And so, I don't really feel like they even had to act like us. We just happened to be like the same human beings. It was very strange, it was really awesome. Yeah, I mean, he hit it on the head. Uh, it wasn't a very long process. I feel like they had, you know, Andy and Barbara had such a clear vision and knew us so well because they cared about us as people. So as we, as they cast our older versions, they were looking for the spirit of us as people. And I think that's what we try to portray in these characters. So, you know, I met Isaiah and it was like, hey, Old Spice, I love Old Spice, I wear Old Spice now. That's great, okay, cool. You know, and he just asked like a couple of little questions here and there about different mannerisms, but it's such a great team behind these films and you know we trust them so it was really easy it was like okay cool let's have fun yeah, I mean you'll say what do you, what do you want? yeah you said it all you did the same thing I mean I met PJ Redstone he's super cool we did like a speed date thing where we sat and we had barbecue and I got to meet all the great people and it was really funny I like talking to Bill Hader I like talking to Jessica Chastain and like we had a great cast for that movie we had really lucky and James McAvoy insane right and
at Shazam, I tend to take lots. Woo! I took um, the ring, like the ring that Freddy's got in the second one, I took that, and then in the first one, um, oh, what was it? I think I took my, uh, oh! It was uh, the battle ring. I have the battle ring. I had to take that. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. Uh, from it, I normally just take my character's wardrobe, you know? Uh, so, I know, yeah, but I just always love that. I wanted that. They would not, that's the thing, as you grow as an actor, they let you take more stuff. So like, that was my first film, so I was like, you had to take like basic stuff. Like, okay, can I take the clothes? All right, take the clothes. Um, but yeah, I think that was the number one take, just the outfit, like the character that you're building and what they live in, you know, that's kind of the most important thing for me. I don't really think I've taken much. Um, but Jerry's Jerry's good. <laughs> with Jerry's good. With Are You Afraid of the Dark, they gave us like prices for stuff that we could buy our own wardrobe back from them. So they were like, we're gonna return them anyway, so you can buy this one for 40 bucks. It's like a normal t-shirt. So I bought like a couple things that I really wanted, um, but I didn't take anything from it. Except for like our, our seat backs. Like I have like my Van Hansko yeah. thing like that, but I, I, I keep those from all my movies. Oh, yeah. But that's because they have no use for them after anyway. They're wasted, right? So I don't think I've taken anything which is so lame. I feel like I need to start stealing more. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Thank you for that question. All right, next up, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Anna, and I was wondering what was the most fun scene you ever filmed in it? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't mind. All right, they're going to huddle up right now, and they're going to come up with one scene between the three of them. I was like, I want Bruce Carter to drool on me as much as possible when he's a 
Thank you. All right. Next up, what, what is your name? What is your question? Hi, I'm Sammy. Um, my question is, uh, well, you guys always talk about like how much you value your experience filming it, and I was wondering, is there anything that you learned from that that you have taken to your other projects that you work on, which are all great. You guys are doing great. Good job. Thank you. From it, I think being honest, like it, that movie happened at such a special time in our life. We we're so young and all kind of really new to making films. So we really, like, we're really brothers, you know. Like, and I know people say that, like, oh, it's my brother, but you know, after the movie, they don't hang out or talk or, you know, this is what been six, seven years since the film, and you know, like, these are really my brothers. Like, I don't think that'll ever change. And uh, I think I've come to find, even with, I've had spent phenomenal castmates and crews and stuff like that, but nothing will ever be able to touch the relationships that we formed on this film. And I think it's just because, you know, it was just a special time and we were all growing up together and we continue to do that. And I'm just like, you know, proud to see what they've all done individually and, you know, just want to work together again on something, so, yeah. That's basically exactly what he said. I mean, that's, he hit the nail on the head for sure. I mean, as far as acting experience goes, um, everything. I mean, uh, Benjamin Perkins was our acting coach. Shout out to him. Um, and he taught me everything I know. I mean, I have taken so many of the little tricks and like tips that he showed me from that and used it on everything that I've done. Um, and it's nothing really, really specific. It's just like how to act and how to like suck it up when it's getting hard. And like he he taught us how to be boys to men and everything. Like he was so much more than an acting coach to us. And, and same with Andy. And yeah, and it was freaking incredible. I learned everything from it for sure. Yeah. The thing about it was that it was so. Spe there was something. What was so special about it <laughs> was like we, we 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 really didn't know what we were doing, but we had like you know a great director. We were just we were kind of just playing pretend. Like nothing had really shifted between my 12 year old, my 11 year old years to my 12 year old years. I stopped being playing like I was Indiana Jones or Batman or a soldier in the forest and, and then getting onto a set where I was more professional, I, like I didn't really notice the transition. I was just kept doing what I like to do. And it happened to be amongst great other kids that also like to play pretend. So what the cool thing was is that they got to film that and then turn it into this movie. But really what was going on is like we didn't I don't even know if I was very much aware of the fact or I don't know if I know the do the weight of what we were doing while we were doing it. I was just like I made the best friends ever, and I'm never gonna have an experience like that again because now I know. Now I know what's behind the curtain, now I know. Hell yeah! That was the coolest thing. Hell yeah! Yeah, hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, good stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. All right, next up, what's your name? What's your question? My name's Cody. Um, if y'all watch your movies, do you think it's scary or? How about this? Let's, let's, let's find her. So when you saw the final cut, you know what you were filming? When you saw the final cut, were you like, man, that is a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. We were filming that. Yeah, the scariest part of that bad I, I think the scariest part was like, there were days where we weren't filming, right? So like there were some scenes that we really didn't know what would happen because if you look at the, the first script and what came out to be, it's nothing compared to what the first script was, you know what I mean? So when we like, when we have other people filming other scenes, like I think the scene that got me the most was um, when Wyatt or Stanley was in the, in the sewers and what was, was it Judith? Yeah. Is that her name? Yeah, Wyatt's scary. Yeah, yeah, so like Wyatt's fear, that woman on the painting. That scared the crap out of me because I didn't know what was coming, right? Because we weren't we weren't there filming that day. Um, but I said I wasn't going to go to the premiere or anything. Like, I, I was terrified of all horror movies. Um, but it ended up not being as scary, obviously, because we, we saw it all happen. Um, but yeah, all the, all the scenes that we weren't involved with in filming were terrifying. What? Were you scared when you were making the movie? Were you scared? Jimmy, were you scared when we were making that movie? No. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't. No. Really? I didn't think it was, but you were scared to like watch it. Right now. No. If you weren't scared to watch, if you were scared to watch it, were you? Why? If I don't think you heard my answer. So I was scared of like the. Sorry. Sorry. I'm having a bad bowel day. <laughs> my bowels do this thing where they whistle sometimes. I was scared of the, of the scenes that we didn't film. Oh. Like Jack, like Wyatt scene, oh, yeah, like because yeah, like, we weren't there, so we didn't know what was coming. Right, we didn't know. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. But I was also kind of excited to see those things. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, for me, I feel like watching the film. I just you, when you make a movie, you watch.
watch it and you kind of remember the days you made it. So it's kind of like an out of body experience. Like it's hard to watch a film that you made and remember that day. And remember like, oh, I remember the first take was not good. <laughs> or like, you know, or like, oh, that was really fun or that lunch was really good that day. Like you think about those type of things as the actor, at least for me. So like watching it, like whenever it pops up on TV, it makes me like happy. Just because I, I'm looking at it like, dang, that was a memory like in my life, and like that was all oh, that it's summer like a photo album of like, yeah. like a good summer. Yeah, that was a great summer, like one of the best summers of my life, you know? Yeah. All right, good stuff. Thank you very much. All right, next up, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, I'm Allison, and my question is, what were all of your reactions the first time you saw Bill and his makeup all petty, pennywise? Yeah, but you know we're there now. Yeah. really really tough. I think one of my favorite lines is when we're all talking about the clown at the park 
and everybody says, I saw him too. It was like, that was just funny. And then uh, I think my favorite line of all time was, the please don't go, girl. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> that scene was just so awful, and it just kept going and kept going, and all of that was so legit. And I thought it was going to be really hard to, to like fumble with that model, but it was all legit, and I got really, really frustrated because it was actually falling down. And then the, the headphones, like, dragging behind me was all real, like, none of that was scripted or anything. It just kept happening and kept pissing me off. So, it was freaking awesome. All right, thanks a lot. All right, big man, what is your name or what's your question? Can somebody help him with the mic just so he can uh, get up there or translate for him, relay? Yes. Like, I'm not touching that, not my kids. <laughs> you see the, the guy behind me, I'm not touching My name is Jace. Yeah. And were you happy with your wall? We're going to get that one to Chosen. Chosen, were you happy with your role? <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> yes, I'm very I'm happy with my role, my role in life, my role in the movie. No, yeah, I think it was perfect casting. I think no one could have done these roles like everybody played their roles. And as actors, we audition for a lot of different characters. I know a lot of y'all went for different people. And like, I couldn't imagine anyone else playing. No one could do what Jack did there. No one could do what Jeremy did there, you know. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Good stuff. Thanks a lot there, Jay. Sorry. Right, next up, what's your name? Who's the question for? What's the question? Hello, my name is Charles. It's kind of for all of you guys. Did you ever get sick on set that you need a body double? We'll do it quick. We'll just say, we'll just say yes or no. Um, yeah, I got hives on my face once because of some dumb dumb get wanted to put something on my face. Like, I should know if it was a dumb dumb. I think I should have like meat. I think I put like something on weird on my face. <laughs> like glycerin, like vegetable glycerin. I was laying down in the sun. I was like, yeah. I felt like I was bubbling. So, yeah. No, thank God, no. I was never sick enough that I needed to have a double, but I was really, really sick the day I had to kiss Sophia. Sorry, Sophia. Um, but that was actually when Ben Perkins was like yelling at me and I was like, I can't do it, like I don't want to do it today because I had to scream a lot for that scene and all that stuff and my throat hurt really bad and he was like, you can either like half-ass it today and be mad at your performance for the rest of your life or you can suck it up and you can do it and be happy with it and like go through a little bit of suffering and just go through it. And so like, that was awesome. Show what's going on, baby. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, man. All right, next up, what's your name? Who's your question for? What's the question? My name is Joseph, and uh, the question is basically for all of you. What was the coolest thing that you guys have done in chapter two? Say, say, I'm going to real quick, just to speak a little bit of Mike. What was the best scene you guys have done in Hit chapter two? What was your favorite scene in Hit chapter two? Do you want to huddle up when, uh, and see if you come up and sing in there? Um, I guess, were you in that scene? I can't remember, because like, you're an outsider, I guess. What is your dream horror role that is not it? 
it's not that I have a dream horror role. I just want to play the villain in something, right? I just want to be like the crazy evil, like oh, I know. Joker will be sick. I don't think that's considered a horror movie or anything like that, and that's probably out of reach for me. But no, I think anything that's like, I just want to be like a mentally insane person. I think that would be so fun to like yeah. play around with, unless that like messes with your head long term. <laughs> but like, I think that, that would be like a lot of fun. There's a lot of great serial killers I'd love to play, like a lot of great ones. Like, uh, but I also would love to be a good Dracula. Also, it'd be sick if I could be. Um, sorry, sorry. I want to be the Sandworm in the Beetlejuice remake. <laughs> Yeah, I think same with Jeremy. Like, maybe not straight up horror. I feel like it was like the horror film for me. But like anything like a science of the lamp, like something where like you're playing somebody that's just cold and just menacing, where they, they feel like a monster on earth, you know, something like that. Just really stretch. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Next up, what's your name? Who's your question for? And what is that question? Hey guys, um, my name is Luke, and it's really for whoever it applies to. But uh. Was Stephen King ever on set, or uh, and or like impart any sort of like wisdom to you guys, like secondhand? Did you meet Stephen King? No. None of us did. So I think most of us flew out like the day he got there for Chapter Two. I know I flew out the day he was supposed to be on set, and so which is like such a bummer because I want to meet him so bad. But no, I don't think he was involved with the first one at all. And then the first thing that we saw from him was like a tweet that said like this is really good, and it was like, Whoa, that's pretty crazy. So I don't think that we really got anything from him as much as I would love to do that. I think he just gave us the thumbs up like he liked it, you know. And then so therefore for the second one he's like, okay, I'll come, I'll come do something. But yeah, never got to meet him, but you know, we're available. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good question, man. Thanks a lot. All right. Next up, what's your name? Who's your question for? What is that question? Hey, my name's Brandon, and real quick, I just want to say, It Chapter 2 was the first date that me and my girlfriend ever went on, and it worked out, so thank you guys for that. And, that was exactly what their intention was. They felt like, I hope this guy has a first date. And uh, as part one of, part of the, one of the biggest horror movies of all time, what is your guys' favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie that you've not been in? Exorcist is a great movie. I love The Exorcist. I love um, The Bob and was a great movie. Hereditary was great. I like stuff like that. I like um, like like subtle stuff. Uh, the Omen is a good horror movie. Um, I also love Scream 2. I was a big Insidious guy like growing up. I think that was my childhood. Like all the Insidious franchise. total scaredy cat so I'm just now like finally getting into horror so I've only seen like the newer stuff um, but I think my favorite one that people might know is like uh, the sacred of a killing uh, the killing of a sacred deer it's not a horror movie it's not a horror movie it's, it's a your psychological horror, horror. No, it's not that's your first that was a 20 does every time it's like a scary thing that they get it does hey, you, you, not you a horror touched, movie you touched a nerve over here man. you touched a nerve over here Pennywise or within the town. 
I think that was a, just a tougher scene because I knew like that was going to be a moment. And I, you know, as a young actor, you're like, okay, yeah, It'd be like those type of moments where it's like, okay, I want to do something there that touches people. So yeah. I'm gonna say the hardest scene was the kissing Beverly scene. It's not because I had to kiss Beverly. It's not what I'm saying. It's not what I'm saying. Uh, it was just that I was sick that day and I had to like scream a lot and stuff like that. And then other than that, it might be the bullying scenes because those were really, really tough, but they were like a lot of fun. So it's hard to say that they were hard as well, so. All right, thank you. Oh, look at this. She's literally shed her skin. She was so excited to be a tight Oh, new back. All right, what's your name? Who's your question for? What's the question? Fit into the general public's perception of what was cool, but with 
in that community, we all discover like, oh, that's perfectly okay. And I don't have to adapt to make people feel more comfortable with myself. I can just be me and God will put the right people around me, you know? So I, I love that. So I'm still working on that, but that's the goal. Yeah. Hi, right, Jeremy. So do you fear uh, pigeons or tsunamis? I do not have a fear of pigeons or tsunamis, actually. I live in Tennessee, so it's hard to be afraid of tsunamis. <laughs> Alright, so Jack, I got a question for you. So, um, I've had a, a previous opportunity to interview Jackson Robert Scott, one of the nicest, sweetest oh, kids I've ever met. So, you probably were the only one that really had much interaction with him on stage or in the filming. Did you kind of feel like uh, you needed to be protective over him? Because you guys were all young kids, but he was even younger than you were. Did you have any kind of protection vibes? No. So kid on there? No. I, <laughs> nobody needs to protect Jackson Robert Scott. That kid is a freaking tyrant. He's a monster. Get him out of this business. He's a monster. I'm kidding. I love Jack Power Scott. He's a funny little, he's a kook, and I love him. And he's uh, wild, and we actually gelled a lot. I mean, he's so creative, firstly. First and foremost, his creativity goes unmatched by any star in the history of stars. Uh, and he's got a lot of great stories. And wait, what was the question? If I had to protect him? I, no, I, I, it was kind of great to make him cry and like, like get him all scared. Like, we totally messed with him a lot because he was young and we were kids as well. And we wanted to mess with him. Like, even Andy, dude, I'm not the only one. Call me a monster. I don't care. Andy put Pennywise in Jackson's trailer. And, and Jackson was going up the stairs to do his trailer. And Pennywise goes, and Bill Skarsgård comes out and he goes, Meh! to scare him. And Jackson goes, Meh! and his face is all beat red. And he's crying and he's in hysterics. And Andy and Bill are like, this is so funny. <laughs> Something. Or is he 10, 10 now? I don't even know. But anyway, he was like eight and he was like ah, crying and it was hilarious. I love him so much. All right, so I have one last question for the three of you guys. So it seems like in this time period movie wise, there's a lot of bike riding teens that are saving the world. You've got the Guardian Act. You got the Goonies, you've got Super 8, you've got Stranger Things. What makes your group of bike riding teens that are trying to save the world better than all those other groups that are out there? We're the Losers Club. Hit the hand. 
nail, like hit the nail on the head with that one. Like whenever you go up to his table and he's singing or he's doing something insane and like you're just trying to get your autograph signed, that's Jack. Like I promise you, he acts like that <laughs> everywhere. And that's, that is, that's just Jack. All right, everybody. So we could continue this panel for another hour, but we can't by uh, contractual law. And, uh, and we don't want to get killed by a serial killer. Uh, <laughs> but every one of these guys has got a table in the back. And if you guys have got a question you didn't get an answer, or you didn't get an ask because you were too afraid to come up to the mic, and you feel much more comfortable doing it one-on-one, -on -one, these guys are going to be here. Uh, and like I said, if you ask a question, go over to my booth over here at 21. I've got something to give each one of you guys, because we know how hard it is to get them in front of the mic, in front of everybody, and do your thing. But uh, let's give a huge round of applause.